Last, you know, go look at our last month's video as well with the eclipses, but also we talked about Jupiter in Aries. So there's a lot about uh, Jupiter in Aries already, but now Mars entered Aries and now they're conjunct as well. So we're going to have a <clears throat> we're going to have a lot of fire energy, fired up people, fired up energy. People are going to well, if I'm being really honest with you, people are going to want to fight. <laughs> and um, but fighting always isn't a bad thing, you know, guys. Like we said uh, right now, we talked about boundaries and, and those narcissists. It's it's a good time if you are in a situation right now. The, the one of the reasons we even shared this part is. I'm personally I'm in a situation like that and like I'm literally using this Mars in Aries Mars conjunct Jupiter to put up those boundaries it can really be in a firm place with all of this and it's helping you know the fiery side comes out the soldier is the warrior of the Mars and 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 Aries comes out so you can use this please use this in a in a um, proper way so what I mean by proper way is you know using it for ambition using it for taking action for initiating things initiating new things yes it, on a global s scale global sphere now the, the maybe the troubles come in of okay we will have an increase of conflict we will have an increase in, in violence we will have an increase in fires unfortunately I, I do see this happening more more uh, like you know nature fires forest fires um, physical injuries uh, unfortunately more cuts as well to the body uh, but again the cutting off side of Mars can be used if you have somebody I think Donnie really speaks a lot about this and I, I, I've I've jumped on the bandwagon with this as well because it's really good energy if you need to cut off something or someone from your life as well you have more courage you have more balls to do it actually <laughs> let's put it that way and um, a couple of manifestations I wanted to add to this are um, more desire for for fitness exercise movement generally like moving the body taking action with the body obviously if you have something you know stopping you a little bit in the natal chart you, you can feel it a little less but the energy should be moving in, inside of you and you want to put it out there as well and you have the courage to do it a lot of sexual energy raw sexual energy I would say again it has to be uh, channeled correctly um, some things, other things can take courageous action towards future plans that you actually desire or want. Ambition rises for the future goals. More conflict with foreigners, unfortunately, can happen. Um, men and masculine type women, you know, you will receive, I would say, a, more of a boost. Um, we can say luck and energy as well. Uh, now I want to say about independence. Uh, independence is important. The desire for independence, being more independent in all areas of life, usually comes with this energy as well. But it can lead to if you don't, because Jupiter expands everything so much. Please be careful with the fact of like, you know, selfishness. Basically, is what I'm saying. Don't be selfish. Be independent, but don't be selfish. Um, more boldness. Uh, can mean physical, verbal fights, verbal aggression, and uh, I think Donnie already mentioned this before or in the video beginning. Uh, it's like almost this kind of feeling of I've had enough of this shit, and now I'm taking an action. I'm taking some courageous action towards the actual thing that I want and how the thing should be in my life. So this is very much. I would say also, I want to say it's a very kind of like inspiring type of energy as well to take physical material action, courageous action in your life. I think that's what I wanted to say about this. Great, uh, because if I think about Mars and Jupiter in Aries, Mars is the, definitely the more stronger planet in its home sign. And this can really give rise to enthusiastic action, which often imbues what we do and also it also enhances our possibility of success and because Aries is really like I think in tarot is the uh oh which tarot card talks about Aries is it the fool or the chariot this is where you are I think I, I'm yeah I'm yeah not maybe super you can tarot. put inside the uh, <laughs> I know it's something to do with movement and it can be very uh because of course, in Aries, it really gives us the, 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 
the outlook of, you know, like a baby, like a child, you know, even if you fall down, you just stand right back up and just keep going. And so it's that kind of gusto and bravado energy and a lot of like um, courage to do things. And with that, it also helps in uh, being confident in our ability to be, uh, to effectively exert ourselves. And um, this can be because we have that self-belief and self-esteem and self-confidence in, uh, in our competence uh, in what we are trying to do. Or, um, but however, I need to point out that this can also be our downfall and lead to failure because of overestimation of our energy and abilities. Um, or there's a misestimation of circumstances. Uh, you may also tend to overdo stuff or something or go too far with things. Uh, I've seen um, over here in Singapore, there's actually this thing called the coffee shops and, you know, that like a, a hawker centers or food courts. And there's a disproportionate increase in news of, we call them uncles or middle-aged men. <laughs> their chest so puffed and they're like, you know, so like, you know what I mean? And, and they like start fighting and throwing chairs. And I was like, okay, this, that's when I, I know <laughs> on a personal level that, you know, Mars and Jupiter energy is really building. And uh, it's also to engage in destructive excess. Uh, but however, it also gives you that ability to really negotiate for what you want with a very assertive kind of manner. And um, um, you also find that Mars and Jupiter together, there'll be this kind of active and assertive reaching out to others in generous and exuberant fashion. It's a fire sign. And uh, it's also um, con continuing to enlarge our viewpoint and understanding as a means of learning from conflicts because Jupiter is the greater teacher. And Mars and Aries is via conflicts, you learn the, the higher wisdom. Um, hopefully, if you can harness this energy properly, it can also overcome your own destructive impulses. But I know with so much fire, it's hard to. <laughs> but thank God v Venus uh, officially exited Aries into Taurus. So this can be like a cushion or landing pad to kind of counteract that you know, Mars and uh, Jupiter in Aries. Um, just look out for righteous action, uh, that you're not going into the territory of bulldozing others or becoming like a blatant bully. Uh, people may be fighting more for their beliefs. Um, and also over, um, over zealousness and fanaticism. I guess if you just search for a clip of, you know, outside the courtroom, uh, when Johnny Depp went into court, how people reacted versus, you know, misheard. <laughs> it's almost like this. When it's in Aries, I need to mention that our sensitivity chip and capacity for compassion and understanding from the other end of the spectrum may be missing. We may be just very self-focused and directed in our, in our way of putting out how we see things. Because the thing is that um, it's hard to see the deeper uh, sides of the matter when, when there's like so charged up is Aries energy and there's so, um, and, and, and it's so much to, and it's because Aries is like the I am principle and there's so much acting forth energy that you, you may act before you think things through. <laughs> 